this is part three of my series on building a website from scratch using professional level CSS rules. Now, if you haven't watched the first video, in the first video, we are using classic mode. This way, the palettes will behave exactly. We went to classic mode, and then we killed all the palettes except the CSS palette. That's the only thing I want to see up here. Of course, plus my property palette on the bottom and my tool palette up on top. Okay, now I'm selected inside the layout tab. We're going to be using the layout tab today. So select the layout tab first. Okay, now very important step here. Okay, a couple things I want to share with you. I can turn my CSS off and on. If I click this icon right here, I can turn my CSS style off. This is what the page looks like in pure format. That's very important because sometimes you can't get your cursor into a place because the CSS is getting in the way. Now, important step here, guys. This icon right here is not here by default. It's not the default setting inside of Dreamweaver. What you have to do is you need to go to View, Toolbars, and make sure style rendering is turned on. I'm going to temporarily turn, temporarily turn style rendering off. That icon is no longer there, therefore I can't see my page without my CSS styles. Now, of course, I can trash my CSS styles. Well, that's not what I want to do, so I'm going to go to View, Toolbar, Style Rendering, which creates this icon. I can turn my CSS page off, turn my CSS page on. Very important technique to develop websites correctly. Okay, now if you look at your CSS palette over here, right here, we have basic CSS rules. Body tag, strong tag. Now, what tag, which is inside the entire site, is actually missing from here? The answer is the P for paragraph tag. We don't have a paragraph rule. The other thing that's important to understand here, guys, are these are the rules. These are the rules. These are the tags. These are the rules. These are the tags. These are the rules for the tags that you selected. You selected the tag to make a rule. Now, pay close attention here. Okay, This page here, if you look here, this page has some kind of padding here. I'm going to drag a guide down here. Incidentally, if your rulers are not up, Command Option R, Command key Option R means up rulers. Control Alt R, Windows, Command Option R, rulers. Okay, so I want to get rid of the space here because this is default space. Now, default spacing is a very bad idea because that means the browser is going to come up with, with its own space. I don't want the browser making decisions for me. Okay, I want the browser to basically read the rules, the rules that I created in my CSS palette. Therefore, without rules, you have chaos. Okay, chaos does not belong inside your website. So we're going to create what's called the asterisk tag, the wildcard tag, the universal selector tag. Okay, here's how we do this, and here's the objective. We want to get rid of all the space for all the tags, all 92 HTML4 tags. We can do that very simply. Pay close attention to this because a lot of people get mystified by this technique. Okay, so we're going to add the asterisk tag, also known as the wildcard tag or the universal selector tag. It talks and communicates to all 92 HTML tags or HTML5 tags, if in fact you're using HTML5. So here's how we do it. We go down to the palette here. You see it says palette. There's nothing to select here. There's nothing to select. And I simply click New CSS Rule. Brings up this dialog box, okay? We need to change this to Compound because if Astro Tag is neither tag nor ID nor class. It's a, it's a tag unto itself. So we're going to select compound. We're going to delete what's in there. Type in the asterisk tag. Shift key 8 asterisk tag. This is the wildcard tag, universal tag. 
This tag talks to and sets the default value of all HTML tags. So I hit OK. Now, based on these choices, notice this is called CSS rule definition for asterisk. Okay, we're going to go to the box category, category called box. We're going to set the padding to zero, hit the tab key, and the margin to zero. Now, padding is the space inside of the box, inside of a div tag, inside of a box. You have to imagine that there's a box on the page surrounding my content. So padding is going to be set to zero, and margin is going to be set to zero. Because zero, I can count from zero. What that's going to do here, if I hit the apply option, if you look in the top left hand corner here, it's going to get rid of this space. So if I hit the apply option, that space is now gone. The reason is I set the asterisk tag. So if I double click the asterisk tag, you'll see that we set the box dimensions to zero, zero. Now you can use the asterisk tag in a lot of ways. I use the asterisk tag to simply set my pattern and margin to zero. Now, the asterisk tag is technically the grandfather tag of the entire site. So we're going to drag that to the top. So it says asterisk body. Make a change, save a change. Okay. Now, if you look at your page for a second, one of the things we're going to do here, I'm going to put my cursor right here, and I'm going to hit the return key, which creates a new paragraph. Okay. So... This new paragraph does not have space between the paragraphs. There is no space between my paragraphs because the asterisk tag got rid of all the space. Well, guess what? I do want to have space between my paragraph. So how do I do this? I create a rule for the P tag. So click inside of any P, come down here to the bottom left, select the tag, select the tag, and make a rule. Select the tag, come over here to the CSS property palette, hit the plus symbol, new CSS rule. In this particular case, we're going to select tag because we're just doing a single tag. If we're doing multiple tags, then select compound. Compound is for multiple tags. In this particular case, body paragraph. I just want to do a singular tag. So from compound, I could say less specific, or I can simply select a single tag. Again, tag, the tag property here is this for a single tag. Multiple tags are done inside of compound. So I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to make a rule of what's in this dialog box. Rule for the P tag, P for paragraph. So we're going to set the space at the bottom of the paragraph. How do I do this? Based on these choices, these are my choices, we're going to go to the category called box, box, at the bottom of the box. Now, who can guess as to what this is set to by default? What value is in here by default? Answer, zero. Zero is there by default. Do not confuse zero with nothing. Nothing defaults to the parent. This defaults to the asterisk tag because the asterisk tag is the parent of the entire site. The asterisk tag was set to zero. Therefore, these values by default are set to zero. So be very foolish of me, which a lot of people make this mistake, redundancies, to put in zero because it is zero. It's already zero. So we're going to set the margin space. Margin space is outside of the box. Padding space is inside of the box. There's an imaginary box around the tag for the paragraph. So we're going to deselect same for all and we're going to set the margin space to M spaces. E-M. E-M is a value. Just like pixels of value or inches of value or centimeters of value. In E-M, so we're going to put 1.2 E-M. And E-M stands for M space. The height of a capital M. The height of a capital M is EM. So let's think about this. If my body copy was 10 pixels, okay, that means that that capital M at 10 pixels equels 1M. One 1M one in this particular case equals 
10 pixels because that's what my body tag was set to as an example. So 1.2 times 10, unless you slept through fourth grade math class, hopefully you didn't sleep for, through fourth grade math class, 1.2 times 10 is 12. So 1.2 M, because an M is equal to the height of a capital M. So therefore it's relative. So if my body copy tag gets bigger, my space gets bigger. But if we set this to say 12 pixels, it's gonna stay 12 pixels. We wanna set this to 1.2 M. Literally type in 1.2 EM. Hit the apply option. There's my space. There's my space between my paragraphs. Now, we certainly don't want to create space by hitting the return key 50 times. That's totally incorrect. Nor do we want to hit the shift return key a gazillion times. That's going to create line breaks. We don't want to do that either. So if you want to have more space between a tag, you simply double click or create the tag. If you want to edit the tag, double click, go to the box section, set the padding, I'm sorry, margin space at the bottom. Notice we selected, deselected, same for all, because this is set to zero, this is set to zero, this is set to zero, because the asterisk tag was set to zero. So P appears after the body tag, so this should say asterisk body paragraph. Okay, so very important step here. We're going to continue in our next video by making one of the most important things with web development in CSS, ID tags. We can ID any tag. We can ID a paragraph tag. We can ID an H tag. We can, as we'll learn, we can ID a div tag. Div tag IDs are a paramount successful web development. Paragraph IDs, H tag ID, image tag ID. We're going to go into ID deep in depth in our next video, so stay tuned. Please, please, please like my video, subscribe to my YouTube service. I need encouragement, guys, to continue these videos. If I'm not feeling the love here, I can't continue. So please support my services, support my subscribe to my site. Follow me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash think learn, earn. Think, learn, earn. And I also have a website called thinklearnearn.com, which is going to have a whole bunch of free Adobe videos, After Effects, Premiere, uh, every Adobe product. I'm a total master at all Adobe products. Thanks for watching and talk to you soon.